Hurricane season starts tomorrow and typically peaks around August through October. Before the season officially begins, we're getting a first-hand look into the power of one of these storms. Chris, turn the winds up to a low-end Category 4 in this week's Weather IQ. We're here at the Aerodyne Wind Tunnel, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna demonstrate the power of a hurricane's winds. So we're gonna go from tropical storm one, two, three, and then max it out at a low end four at 130 miles per hour. All right, it's getting real. All right, let's experience a hurricane. This is the Aerodyne Wind Tunnel, 250 feet long, 2,500 horsepower. The main thing about this simulator, you don't have the rain, you don't have the debris. This is just showing the pure power of the winds. Okay, let's do this. This would be tropical storm strength. You can walk. Picture this as a strong thunderstorm pushing through the area. But once you get to 74 miles per hour, that's category one. Let's go category one. You can feel the difference. A category one is gonna rip off shingles, roof tiles. Let's go category two. A category two hurricane is wind at 96 to 110 miles per hour. I can't walk forward on my own. Debris can be thrown into windows. I can barely speak. It's an extremely dangerous situation to be outside. Let's go major. Wrap it up in category three. You can feel the difference. You can feel the difference. Who's to be thrown off? Both Category 4 and 5 hurricanes produce catastrophic damage and can leave areas uninhabitable for weeks, even months. The power of wind increases exponentially. Just look what it does to my face as we increase the major hurricane status. Cute, right? Something I truly never want to experience in real life, but thanks to Aerodyne for showing us the force of a hurricane. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCC Charlotte. Wow. Well, if you want to keep boosting your weather IQ or if you just want to look at Chris again in the category <laughs> four hurricane, but who doesn't want to see that? Just get out your phone, scan the QR code there on the lower hand right. It'll take you to our weather IQ YouTube page. And, and to reiterate, there was no wind, there was no debris. Yeah, and yeah. It, it was crazy. The strap was just hitting against me. You had like little blood spots yeah. on the side of you just because of how strong the winds were. You wow. could actually feel it. I could, I could feel like almost a little part of my t-shirt just like whipping against the skin Stop. and that's just fabric oh. so just putting that in perspective and also wind exponentially increases so the damage done from say 75 to 100 is 10 times when you go 75 to about 150 yeah. that can be up to a thousand times the impact of the damage. I whipped out a category <laughs> yeah. one. Larry said, did it yeah. I said Chris could do that now many years ago I did that but I said no this time I just yeah. could do it man it would have got to everyone was okay I, I would have liked to have seen Larry's hair in a category category four. We, 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 yeah. we, it still wouldn't move. Yeah. Uh, we should say though, this is a really cool facility up in Mooresville. It's amazing. Yeah, yes. Really neat place, yes. really neat place. They right. do an incredible thing. You know, they do a lot of uh, testing for yeah. NASCAR and wind. But the interesting thing, the wind is not blowing at you. It's, it's actually, remember that the, it sucked towards you. Yep. But it's not, it's not directly in front of you, the, the uh, big wind tunnel itself. Okay. Yeah. Big thanks amazing. to Aerodyne, thank you.